Working together with some of the most successful leaders in unboxing their organizations and also researching cases worldwide of successful leaders unboxing their organization, we found that when they communicate about their vision and their journey to the organization, they like to stay away as far as possible from words like agile, empowerment, self-management, self-organization, psychological safety, and so on. Because everybody in the organization already has a certain interpretation of these words. And therefore, right from the start, when you start communicating about your vision, you create believers, non-believers, false expectations, and whatsoever. And therefore, you basically already get stuck before you even start it. What we notice is that successful unbossed leaders use in their communication a, a language and words that a 12-year-old boy or girl can understand and b, that captures the essence of what it's about. I give a couple of examples. They ask, how do we want to take decisions in our organization? What kind of decisions do we still want to make autocratically? And are there types of decisions on topics where we can use the collective intelligence of the organization? Or another example is how do we structure our organization so that we give more power to the teams that are the closest to the customer. Another example is how do we want to cultivate feedback in this organization. How do we want to measure performance? What is a healthy team in our organization? What does that mean? How do we look at the future of work? Types of employment? How do we want to recognize or reward people? So, I hope you understand that they really stay away from these buzzwords and they talk in a language that invites everybody to really reflect on how we can improve the way we are doing things today. And if you start that internal dialogue like this, you will notice that it's a fairly small step to start debating with your peers and with your teams about these concepts or, and, and questions and also start experimenting with them rather than communicating and launching this big agile or empowerment uh, transformation where from the start everybody already has their conclusion set. So that's our advice for communicating about your unboss journey in the organization. If you need more help, www.hyphens.eu.